Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we would be seeing about variables and XCOM in Airflow. So what are variables? So let me go to Airflow once. So if I go to Airflow and if I go to admin and if I go to variables here, you can create any kind of secrets or some a key value pairs here. If you see, I just created the name as Praveen, job as IIT, city as this one. If you want, you can edit it. So you, you can either have the JSON type argument or you can have a single value. If you have JSON type argument, you can extract it. Key dot city, key dot uh, population like that. So this, this is how we create the uh, variables in Airflow, going to admin and variable. Similarly, we have XCOM. I'll tell you the difference between both. So now if I come to XCOM, if you see all these things have been stored. This I have not uh, written, but if you see what, what is the DAG ID, what is the task ID. So previously, I have run a specific task and a specific DAG that has been stored. So what is the difference between the, the, the variables and XCOM is XCOM is within the DAG. Okay. But variables are at the global level. So it is not specific to a specific DAG. Variables are global level. So you just create once in Airflow UI and you can access them whenever you want. That's how the variables work. But XCOM is not like that. XCOM is within the DAG. So the scope of XCOM is within the DAG. So what happens in XCOM is in the previous video we have seen right the task flows. So here it is returning something. The second task is returning something. So whatever is being written. So whatever a specific task returns that is by default stored in XCOM, whatever a specific task returns, that is by default stored in the XCOM. Now let's assume we are returning some huge amount of data and all. In that case, we can go with the object store as well. I'll ha I have another video which I will explain you on how to store. So whatever a method returns by default, it is stored in the XCOM. Okay. If you see, this is my previous video recording. So it has stored all this information, the value and all the London data and all is stored in this XCOM. So now let's see this example. So now if I come to XCOM, if you see, I have a DAG, I just created a DAG, that's it. And now I have first operator, Python operator, it is calling a method, push data. If you see, I am getting the task instance, okay. Quarks, we know, in the, my previous videos, I have explained what is called, all the metadata about the DAG we can fetch inside the Python method using Quarks. So Quarks of TI will get the task instance information. So what we can do is, this task instance dot XCOM push, and what is the key you want and what is the value you want? If you see, I'm just storing a simple dictionary here. That's it. Key value, key value. So now in my XCOM, the, the key will be here. Uh, the key will be the custom key and the value will be this particular dictionary. So I'm just pushing it in the first uh, operator. In the second operator, I'm pulling them. So if you see in this operator, I'm calling this particular method. And if you see here, I'm getting this again task instance I'm getting from Quarks. And if you see ti dot xcom pull, I am saying the fetch with the key custom key which we have pushed above. And if you you can just pass only the key that also works, or else you can pass the task ID also. So the what is the task ID where we have pushed the custom key has been pushed in this particular method. This particular method task ID is push task, right? So I am just passing that as well. You can pass both the key and task ID, or else you can pass only key as well. So let's assume oh, in the next scenario, I don't have any key. If you see here, instead of uh, fetching it based on key, I'm fetching it based on task ID also directly. If you see here, this particular method returns some value, right? This particular task is returning something. If you see here in the last, it is returning something. So that value can be directly fetched using ti dot xcom pull of task ID. So whatever this particular push task returns, that return variable is uh, fetched directly because as I said, every task, if you are returning something that get pushed to XCOM so that you can fetch based on task ID as well. And I'm just uh, printing those. That's it. And I'm again returning something. See, if you see here, I have this third task as multi output task and here it is returning something. So I'm just fetching whatever this particular multi output task has been pushed. That's it. Because I'm fetching based on the task ID alone, multi output task. That's it. So this is how we can fetch from XCOM using the key or using the task ID directly because every task, whatever it is returning will be pushed to XCOM 
and if you have huge amount of data you can set it uh, the you can set the threshold and store it that temporarily in object storage as well s3 or azure storage or wherever you want instead of storing in the xcom so this is what xcom and the variable names we just go to the ui and we create the key values right here that is how we fetch the variables variable dot get of name variable dot get of city variable dot get of job and if you are not getting anything what is the default value it has to return like that if you see just a simple dag it is calling the print variables this method and here we are fetching from variables okay and these variables we have to manually go to ui and just uh, create one by one by clicking on this plus and then key value description that's it and we are just fetching and printing so now let's go to the dags and let's run those if you see here now let me go to variables and now let me trigger this whatever we have here should be printed that's it if you see ct has this thing job has this thing name has this thing so let's see if that gets printed or not if you see logs see name praveen city has this thing job it that's it a simple thing has been printed whatever is there in these variables now let's go and do the xcom this is xcom example there so now I can run it if you see here the push task first it has pushed something if you see here oh, in the code oh, see what are we pushing in the first task we are pushing the custom key so now let's come here let's go to xcom and see the custom key has been pushed and others are also has been pushed so if you see the custom key has been pushed the return value and whatever this some methods are returning everything has been pushed see if you see we are first pushing custom key and in this method we are pulling those okay and again here we are returning something right so this also get pushed see what is the task instance for this pull task if you see the return value and this one whatever we are in so this is how by default the data gets pushed for whatever the task is returning one thing and second thing we can manually push and pull it using the task instance ta.xcom pull ta.xcom push that's it this is what about xcom and variable is that's it thank you so much for watching